Hello, welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Today we've got Espolón Tequila Reposado, made and bottled in Mexico. It is handcrafted in Los Altos, the Highlands region of Jalisco. El Espolón reveals the essence of Mexico. At its core is the spirit of the iconic rooster, a symbol synonymous with Mexico's proud history. Our tequila is a tribute to the Mexican artists who inspired the world with their true portrayals of the rich, storied culture of Mexico. El Espolón takes you to where people celebrate everyday life. It pours you into the heart of real Mexico. And it's got some very cool Day of the Dead type artwork on the bottle. Uh, if it'll focus, it might. I don't know, but go buy yourself a bottle. And you can see it yourself or go check it out at the liquor store. So, you want to get right to the review? Sure. This is 100% pure agave tequila. Pretty reasonably priced if I remember right. Anything to say? Yeah, it's definitely among the mid-range tequila prices. It's nothing amongst the highest shelf stuff that you're going to see at your typical liquor store. But it is, you know, you know, it's, it's on the shelves that you wouldn't quite call your, you know, your basic brands. You know, basic bitch tequila. No. <laughs> As you may or may not see, I've got my skull, skull. beads on to match the occasion. Think that this is a good time to do this video, seeing this Day of the Dead and that movie that just came out, that um, The Book of Life, which is an animation. I know nothing Based about this. Based on the Day of the Dead, I only know because I was listening to the radio in my car this morning. They were talking a lot about it and how Day of the Dead is a very significant holiday. So, yeah, enough of my blabbering. Let's try some stuff. Okay, it's 80 proof, 40%, pretty typical, by the way. It smells very much boozy. Uh, not too bad. Not as bad as other stuff that we've done, I think. I think it smells, um... Citrusy? Yeah. A hint of honey. Citrusy, honey, a little bit of honey, I think. Maybe I'm crazy. No, sweetness. I don't think you're crazy. Like a sweetness. Yeah, it is sweeter than some of the others that we've tried. No, I really think it's pretty mellow compared to other 80 proof boozes that I've smelled. But maybe it's because I've been sniffing it for the last minute while you were talking. I don't know. So, and, you know. uh, yeah, the agave smell. It's very typical tequila smell uh, for a reposado. Doesn't smell too much like the barrel. I, I get a lot of the agave cedar smell uh, remaining. So, let's taste it. Mmm. Extremely smooth. Um, it almost felt cold when it hit my mouth, which mm -hmm. it caught me off guard. I'm used yeah. to like a hotness. Um, really smooth. A good mix of like an oily and watery, watery feeling. Like a very good mouth feel, if you want to use that word. I don't know. That's a word that people use. I don't like it, but it's a word. Hmm. What do you think? I did get that cool sensation that I'm not used to with this sort of thing. Mm. But I also got a little bit more immediate stinginess in the back of my throat, not necessarily in my mouth, like my tongue, just like right swallowing. Really? I like got like a delayed heat in my chest that spread out. It does take a while for it to warm up. That is the difference, I think, with this one. Yeah. No, my throat, I don't have like any like <clears throat> reaction, like, oh god. Mm. I've got a little bit. I don't know. I guess that's why we work good together, because I don't get any of that. I really don't get any burn until maybe the back of my throat and in my chest. Okay, so there's that. Any other thoughts before we go into a margarita? Mm. I 
I'm not sure. I like this so far. I can't say that it's my favorite consistency wise, just drinking straight, but I do like the flavor a lot more than others that we've tried. What was the other one that we had in Milagro? Um, less oily than Marat Milagro. I yeah, think. I think the, it's a little thinner. I no, do. No, no. I don't think so. I think it's thicker, but without feeling oily. Hmm. The Milagro felt like a thin oil to me. Huh. Well, that's why I felt like it was. The Milagro was a little thicker because it, it was a little more oily. Nope. I, don't, I disagree thoroughly. I feel like this is, feels way better in my mouth than the Milagro. And tastes better. But might not be worth the extra money. I think this is probably like another 10, 15 bucks. Mm. So let's try the margarita. Mm. No, it doesn't does not translate as well into a margarita, I don't think. You're the opposite? I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. I don't hate it or anything, but I thought the Milagro, the only other Reposado we've reviewed, tasted much better. Mm. Uh, yeah, the Milagro was a better mixer for me. I like this better because I pick up a lot more of the citrus flavors in this when mixed with the margarita mix. No, I don't. I really don't. I get maybe it's the ice or something, but <clears throat> I do get I did on my most recent drink get that weird pumpkin spice thing I got with the Milagro again it's not that i don't think pumpkin spice candle um yeah i don't i think it's uh it comes out kind of bitter and rubbery i don't i don't like it and it's rubbery get, yeah i get like this weird rubbery it's not pleasant it's not like the worst thing ever but if i was making if i guess if I had to pick between this and the Milagro and I wanted to sip a tequila straight, I would get this. If I wanted to make a margarita, I'd get the Milagro. Hmm. And you seem to be the exact opposite. Yeah, I really like this in the context of a drink. I'm not so much a fan sipping it straight. And I really can't say that I dislike strongly. I just... I'm not in love with it. So I do agree that if you are going to get a mid-range tequila, I would say go with the Milagro because it just, it seems to be overall more pleasant. Sipping this though, I still, I'm, I'm not huge on the instant cooling feel. It kind of makes my stomach feel wonky hmm. upon immediate sipping. I don't mind the burn. If you're gonna drink alcohol, you're gonna get some kind of warming or burning or stinging feeling regardless, but it just hits you differently. And I've noticed with tequila, it just, it doesn't hit immediately upon hitting the tongue, but it just, right around the back of the throat, it just goes zing, which is interesting and it's fine. It doesn't bother me one bit, but I just, I'm not totally in love with the different sensation, and for me, like I did agree, you said it more watery. But not as bad as the Milagro, to me. You said it was more watery, and I meant to agree with that, and it felt a little inconsistent, actually. But, I, you know talking way too much over here. I do like the taste of it in the margarita. Okay, so there you have it. This was a uh, sort of a fail of the short form version. <laughs> this has gone long. Sorry guys. But uh, I think the folks on Reddit might appreciate that, perhaps. 
to be as clear as we possibly can about how we felt about it. Um, we've only tried one Reposado, otherwise in Milagro. I like this better for sipping, worse in a margarita. Lauren had the opposite reaction, worse for sipping, better in a margarita. That's well, hey, difference of opinion inspires debate. Indeed. So, how about you write in the comments, have you had this tequila before? Do you like it? Do you like it better sipping or in a drink? What do you think of the flavor? What do you think of the consistency? Let's have a chat about it. And then go buy this tequila because it's better than the Lagro. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, this has gone on long enough. Goodbye.